It's the guitar doing all the work. It's the guitar. Say. Yeah. I listen to YouTube and try to figure that out. Yeah. But how are you able to figure out what chords are where? I have fingers. I can feel them. Mm. It's first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret. I can count. That's basically it, right there. And my fingers, I feel. Yeah, see? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I started losing my eyesight, I had epilepsy. Mm. I had uh, grandma seizures. That was, I had it, started getting them at five years old. Mm. And uh, that felt like somebody was, like my own body was trying to kill me. And that was just wrong to me. Mm. You know, if you're, if you're blind from birth, you, other people with sight are just like aliens. But eh, if you have eyesight and you lose it, it's a loss. It's, mm. not, like, it's not like you're just normal. You're, you're at a loss. You're taking a loss. Yeah. You can remember seeing and being able to ride a bike, mm. uh, run like a normal freaking person, or just to make love to a beautiful woman and actually see what she looks like. Mm. Just, oh, drive a car? Gosh. I don't know. A lot of options. A lot, just a lot of options. Damn. I tie my stuff together so it's harder to take, but like um, I caught people trying to steal from me. You, just, you find out the guy that's trying to steal from you got no shoes and shit. It's, uh, <laughs> so what is happiness to you? Happiness? Yeah. Holy shit. That is a deep question. Oh gosh. Happiness. Well, happiness. Happiness is being able to deal with the shitty and still smile, I guess. The people who, who uh, told me not, you know, I couldn't come in there were like just knew me by name, knew I didn't cause problems, just, just didn't want me there because I was homeless. It was like, uh, you can't come to the public library with uh, luggage. Mm. And if you're homeless, you, you're carrying around luggage because you got nowhere to put it. So it was just a way of weeding out homeless people from going to the library. I've, I've gone into restaurants, I tried to go into restaurants with money, but because I look homeless, you can't come in here. You just can't come in here. Uh, we don't want you here. For one, I don't have the same um, insecurities a lot, of, a lot of other guys have. Uh, I don't need to be tough. <laughs> You know, as a black guy, I can't just, uh, I can't walk down the street real smooth. <laughs> I'm not riding, I'm not riding on 20s. I'm, <laughs> it's never going to happen. So it's like, you know, I, I just got to deal with what I got to deal with. So I don't have that, that insecurity. Oh, I got to be this or try to, try to impress these people. And I was like, ah, oh, I got enough to deal with. It was like, uh, when I was a kid. I was camp. I'll tell you something. I was at camp for blind people. There's a lot of blind people. One blind guy. He was a bit older. He was a lot older. He's, I guess, a blind adult. Uh, he dropped his spoon. Mm. Couldn't find his spoon. He was searching for it, you know, uh, and he kept searching for it. But as, as you know, it turns out he couldn't find it, and he started to cry because he basically hit that wall. <laughs> where the bullshit ended where I can do it all just stopped and uh, all your training and all your uh, getting used to flowing through the day as a blind person uh, perfect you know just everything is working out stopped because you couldn't pick up a spoon you couldn't find a spoon that's reality you can't do it all you, know, you got limitations I think uh, trying to be cool with the world and people is a lot better than uh, a lot of things other people are doing because it's <laughs> a lot of other people are angry. <laughs> I'm not 
I'm not so angry. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs>